and you you have a lot going on. So like what uh, the the knives, like you have these knife designs that you have out there that are awesome that I'm going to get because uh, I'm a big knife guy with the, uh, the Huckberry collaboration. Um, what, what what are the what are those all about? Like, how did you uh, come up with that? Yeah, so that's a kind of a neat story, man. I mean, it's a very approachable knife as far as the price point goes. And it's just a workhorse of a, of a blade. Um, it was this old knife I found in a bus tub when I was working uh, at, when I first started at Bon Appetit. And it was neglected, you know, and it was all chipped up and no one gave, no one cared. Not a very expensive knife, you know. Um, back then, brand new, it was probably 50 bucks, you know. Um, but it had decent steel and it had a nice handle. And it was this big, like, teardrop kind of weird shaped blade. You know, like, uh, like I'm, by weird, I shouldn't say weird because it's probably one of the most utilized blade shapes in the world. It's it's kind of like a Chinese, like, you know, fish cleaver kind of thin blade, you know, just a workhorse. You know what I mean? Like, and um, so I found it and I, I like I like sharpening knives and I like metal. So I, I fixed this thing up and made it razor sharp and um, it became my knife. I started using it on videos and it was ended up being a discontinued model that this company Lamsom makes up in Massachusetts, one of the oldest, arguably the oldest knife company in America. And um, people start reaching out to him being like, hey, can, we got to get more. We got to get more. Where can you bring this knife back? And this one guy reached out to me. I forget what his name was on social media. I don't know how I found his, his message. Like I said before, I just randomly check him. And it was this guy. He's like, hey, work at Lamsom. We want to like work with you. Let's bring this knife back. And like, I think I even blew him off like twice. And he like <laughs> followed up with me. And, uh, and then he was like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll cut you in on a commission of it. And you know, we can put your name, well, yada, yada, yada. And they ended up being really nice folks. And I've been working with them for a little while where we made like a, we brought that flat back and we, we, customized the handle a little bit and um you know same blade and uh and put my name on it and we yeah we've been selling the hell out of them people it's a great knife and it's like i think it's like 60 70 bucks and like buy two we have beat the hell out of one you know what i mean and like it's still i mean knives you i mean you know knives you can spend a good amount of money on a knife oh you yeah know? and um, <laughs> i'm well aware oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know that's a rabbit hole like anything else so i mean i think for having I, and don't get me wrong, I got, you know, knives that are, you know, freaking amazing, you know, that I hardly even use because I just, you know, it's ridiculous. I just, you know, I have so many knives, um, <laughs> but I use some of my like cheaper, quote unquote, cheaper knives. I use the most, you know, and like, don't care if I ship it doing something and, you know, and yeah, so that, that was, that's been a fun, uh, that's been a fun collaboration. And, you know, hopefully I'm going out to Oregon uh, in a couple of days, Portland, uh, Oregon. We're doing a little book tour out there with my buddy Elias from Olympia Provisions. Great guy, man. We're doing some really cool stuff together. Uh, we've got a really cool product collaboration coming out in the future. Nice. Um, I'll, I'll stop to send you some because I think oh, it's man. it's just a game. It's going to be the next bacon, man. It, it's, <laughs> nice. it's, it's basically, yeah, it's basically Taylor Ham or, or Pork Roll, something from New Jersey where I grew up. You, I, you might not even be familiar. Pork roll. Yeah, I've mean, heard of it. I think I've heard of pork roll, but if you explain it to me, maybe I'll be like, ah, oh, okay, that's what it is. Even better if you haven't, because that okay. is, I think the market is just so big. And like, <laughs> you know, so it's it's this it's this really delicious, really shitty pork product, smoked, salty, tangy. It's a raw big, it's this big around, comes in like this cloth cylinder bag. You cut it open, and I've been cooking it, and it's in every deli in New Jersey since I've been alive. And it's made in Trenton, New Jersey. There's only two companies that make it. Taylor ham and, uh, and Trenton pork roll. Uh, and, uh, you cut it thin and you cook it. It's, it's like a bologna, but it's always been this shitty pork. Like it, you eat it. It's delicious, but you, it's not, you don't feel good about it. You don't actually feel good <laughs> after, Yeah, you know, but like, so I'm teaming up with Elias and he, he gets amazing pigs and he works. He does great stuff. He's a master, and especially uh, with sausage. And I was like, if there's anyone who can help me make a really good pork roll, Taylor ham, it's freaking Eli. So we, he nailed it, man. I think we had we got the formula down and the bag and the everything. So I think we're I think we're putting it out. I think we're going to really be releasing it in the next week or so. I'll, oh, nice. I'll send you. Yeah, I have to send you some. It's awesome. Great, man. Awesome. So that'll be before yeah. this uh, this podcast drops. So we'll put it wherever you know show notes and all that stuff. That's awesome. Uh, and where do where cool. do people find those knives? Was it on your website? I know I was looking at it on the other day, but I forget exactly how I linked to it. It might be. It might. It, I think it's says on. You go to Lampson. Lam, okay. Lampson Sharp. Yeah, Lampson and. Um, yeah, yeah, they'll pop up there. The lamps and sharp cleaver. 